Hello, it has been a few days since I appeared the test on No More platform and after waiting for a few days I got this email from them which says don't be discouraged okay now they are also saying in the body that you were so close really only 1% of those who apply get accepted onto our platform you are part of the 99% who don't make it so they're saying that I did not make it through the first attempt okay now they're also saying but there is a uh, there is still a chance your test score wasn't half bad in fact with a few changes here and there we think you could really have uh, what it takes okay so they're saying that uh, whatever I did was not too bad but they want to give me another chance I, I don't know if, if that's how uh, most of the most of the candidates are dealt with but then let's see so we're giving you another chance log into your account and review the feedback once reviewed you can start a new test okay so they're asking me to review the feedback and then start a new test again so let's click on view feedback and see what they have uh, given me as feedback to the first attempt that I made so let's click on this button okay so it brings me to the no more platform login screen so let me log in with my email ID and password all right so I am on their test feed feedback uh, page you can see here they have written you are so close please try again the standards of our customers are extremely high and we while we see potential in your test there is still some way to go thus we encourage you to study the feedback below and retry the test again okay so retry the test all right now test feedback what are the things first uh, very nice first try okay in general Please make sure you understand what the slide frame is and fill it as much as possible and fit the content to the slide frame precisely. Okay, so the slide frame, if you remember, was the invisible dotted line. Then pay much atten uh, more attention to the fine details of the guidelines. Okay, this I think we need to check again. Understand the content to be able to present it correctly make sure content is not missing I'm too sure that the content was not missing whatever I uh, got in my uh, question slides I used in my answer slides as well understand the content to be able to present it correctly maybe I need to spend little more time on these parts brush up make sure that you fill the slide uh, side frame with the content and fit it to perfectly its age that means uh, they, they mean that uh, the content has to be fitted perfectly on the edge of the uh, frames the side frame okay study difference between brush up and visual enhancement title is incorrectly placed so the title is incorrectly placed in, in, in terms of in case of brush up study content and header box style content box should be more uniformly sized everything must be perfectly aligned so they have given me a specific input for the brush up slide that I made okay so that is something very good now let's go to visual enhancement again fill the slide frame perfectly do not go outside of it study colors of guidelines more study box uh, content box style text should be inside colored content boxes not on top separately icons must follow style sets in the guidelines icon must be SVG files not images so this is something that uh, I agree that I've used icons and images but not SVG files so I need to take care of this you can learn more about all the requirements here so if you go to the practice uh, link you can probably learn more about whatever they have uh, told it here but I'm very impressed with this very specific guidelines or feedback that they've given so I'm going to click on this uh, uh, this link or the button here and I'm going to retake the test so wish me luck again thanks for your attention so far I'll see you in the next video